Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah Ati Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdukul Ajisa Da'ifu wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence that we took a path in which to be nothing and fa'awuzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir raheem ya seen wal quranil hakeem innaka kalim al mursaleen ala sirat al mustaqeem alhamdulillah that one of the names of sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sayyidina sirat al mustaqeem means that for us our understanding that with this uloom of ya and the perfection of seen that we talked in the last two nights that what Allah want to give the people of ishq and muhabbat and marifa is to cast within their hearts all knowledges from these shaykhs of yaqeen that Allah has dressed them from the reality of ya and yaqeen and dressed them from sirr. They have Sirat al Nabi, they have the secret from Sayyidina Muhammad within their wujud, within their being. And as a result, they're sent back upon this earth to guide to the oceans of certainty. Guide your students with knowledges of yaqeen, ilmu yaqeen, not the knowledge of a book, but knowledges that are not in the book and they don't go by a book. And as a result of those knowledges that are coming live on a frequency, the difference between reading something is from your brain to your brain. When you read something to somebody, you're transferring something from your brain, it's not from your heart. So this knowledge of the heart, the knowledge of realities is that it's not rehearsed and it's not written. So whatever coming live into their heart they are conveying that reality. As a result of that ilmu yaqeen because it's from the oceans of haqqaiq, they train their students on ayna yaqeen, how to connect and become from Ahlul Basira. That dajjal is taking over what you hear, dajjal has taken over what you see. If you're not Ahlul Basira you have no existence, no, no chance of existence on this earth. If you're going to take your life from what you hear, well because all deceit, right? All social media is deceptive and deception and shaitan calls his agents what? Influencers. We gave them titles so it's not very difficult to understand. We don't have to do rocket science. Allah's going to say, you didn't hear the title? Say, yeah he's an influencer. Their job is to influence your incorrect faith. But ilmu yaqeen means that comes to us and then we train for ayinul yaqeen and we are the ahli tafakkur. Those whom Allah described throughout Qur'an they don't know but the people of tafakkur. Everything praises me but they don't know except the people of tafakkur. Means every reference that Allah gives to this category of rijal in ibadullah that to achieve and when they're from Ahlul Tafakkur means these knowledges that come and in their heart they've opened through their training how to connect with the shaykh in the world of light, how to, to reflect from the faiz of the shaykh into their heart which is the reflection from their shaykh to their shaykh to their shaykh from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and all Ahlul Bayt and Ashab al Kiram are reflecting those signals into their heart. As a result of Ahlul Basira and their training, this knowledge and their vision of certainty, Allah give them khashf and make it to be a haqq. Because they're not giving you vision, they're training you. This is all from Izzatullah. So when they teach you, shut your faculties. What do you want to hear from this world? You're not going to get information from Drudge Report. Some information you get but not good one because we all know it, right? So you want to close your ears, you sit and you begin to listen to salawat and nasheed 
And you say, Ahmad Ruz Sharif and the angels are reciting for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad I said, the drums of war are not somebody beating up their boom, 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 but they're praising Sayyidina Muhammad They're asking for Izzatullah to begin to appear. When the entire heavens are, are praising and making this salawat and you begin to see all the earth filled with Mawlid and Nabi, these are battalions being formed. These are the heavenly jundun min as samawati wal ard and these are Jaysh al-Mansur wa Jaysh al-Muhammadiyyah. They're all gathering for these salawats and these praising. Why? Because behind them are malaika, budal al-Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad wal Akhyar, all in those associations they don't gather without those salawats. So as a result when you see the mawlids and the nasheeds on this earth already Allah Izzat and Might is now about to appear. So means that these realities is opening the heart of people and when they begin to open and become Ahlul Basira and these knowledges that are being opened to them, Allah begin to give them a khashf and a vision within their heart that that knowledge became a truth for them, they witnessed it in the way Allah wanted them to witness it, right? So ilmu yaqeen come to a pharmacist differently than to an economist. But it's the same, it'll be the same knowledge but it come to you in your training and your understanding. The number of it, the frequency of it, the, the chemical of it, the medicine of it, whatever it is that Allah gave each person a specialty in their understanding, their ilmu yaqeen and ayna yaqeen and the haqq yaqeen that they produce is completely different, same knowledge. Because for everyone from their point of reference, when they hear these realities they say, oh SubhanAllah this knowledge of water for a chemist may be a completely different understanding for economist and from a computer technician. But from whatever Allah addressed people when they begin to receive these haqqaiqs then becomes a haqq for them because they witness that teaching in their heart. And as soon as Allah want them to witness it it becomes burnt into their soul and they can reference it any time they need. It's not something through their head that they memorize. Allah has alam al-Qur'an khalaq al-insan, He has already burnt the code into the soul. So it's a matter of you bringing out that code and that reality. So when Allah swears by that reality He's making these servants Muhammadiyoon because all this uloom we said before La ilaha illallah is here for us just to understand. Muhammadun Rasulullah is here. This is the misbah that Allah describes in Surah An-Nur that the light is in a lantern. So everything is in this lantern. If anyone thinks they can have a relationship with Allah alone then they're crazy because they think they're out here. They left the lantern and they came into this space and they're dealing directly with Allah so it becomes, La ilaha illallah you, can't be. La ilaha illallah is not even for us to understand because it expresses itself, there is nothing but Allah and Allah is a hidden treasure. The only that you can know is the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah because it has to be in the kalima. The kalima is, is the complete of all understandings. It has to be in an ocean of tawheed, it can't be outside of it. So the tawheed is Izzatullah powers the creation. Everything is in Muhammadun Rasulullah So the highest uloom, the highest knowledges that all these realities are coming from is the reality of Prophet And that's why Hadith al-Jabbar, what was the first thing Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem that was created that he taught his Ahlul Bayt? says, the light of your Prophet, I was created before Adam was created, before Adam of the clay, my nur was an ancient light. I was a Rasul before this form of Adam came 
I'm an ancient light. So it means that whenever Allah want to make the throne of the Divine Presence, where is it being made? Here or in here? In here because there's nothing out here. There's nothing Allah can create a throne that can carry Allah, well then tomorrow the throne will fight with Allah. Say, well I carry you, I'll be on top. Nothing can contain Allah Anything created is in this ocean of creation. The paradise is created from where? Nur Muhammad Angels are created from where? Nur Muhammad Heavens are created from where? Nur Muhammad All the created universes are created from where? Nur Muhammad That's it. All the huruf is what? There's 28 huruf but really 29 because lam alif and 29 is the reflection of 92 which is mim ha mim dal which is Muhammadun Rasulullah All the huruf is created from there, means all knowledge is from this reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's it. You can't think anything out here, you take your mind out of that. If you place yourself outside of the glass, you're a mushrik. You have made a partner with Allah and you and Allah are partner stuff, Allah can't be. We have to be in an ocean of creation and Allah is the creator. And that's why Sidna Jibreel, Sidrat al Muntaha wa qawba qawsaini aw adana. Sayyidina Jibreel stopped at the glass, my place is not on this side, I don't even have an existence. I can't even take myself into a non-existent place, stopped. But because Prophet is that glass, he is the parda that separates between the vision of Allah because there's no oneness with Allah and creation. And he asked Sayyidina Jibreel, where you get your wahi from? He said, I give you permission this time when you go to get your wahi. He says, I go when I get to wahi there's a bell that comes and I go to the parda. A hand from the parda comes out for what I'm supposed to give to you, I take that and bring it down to you. He says, I give you permission this time to go to the parda and Ask for who's behind that hand. And he went, when the next wahi was coming, he went to the, the parda is a curtain, a veil, a hijab, which is the, the and where Allah describes in Surah Al Rahman the sweet and salt water, there's an unseen barrier between sweet and salt. So, anyone who doesn't understand how that's possible. Allah gave that sign upon the ocean where the Atlantic and the Pacific come together, they don't mix. There's no wahdatul wujud. wujud, oneness, right? It stays apart. The salt is salt and the sweet is sweet. This is isharat for Ahlul Marifa. And those whom live on the salt water and those whom live on the sweet water. And they don't switch. But Mahjru Mahjru Bayn, Marajul Bahri, there's a point in which a special creation only lives on that border. They're not from dunya and they're not looking for paradise, they have only an existence on that reality. That they live in that ocean of who? Where La ilaha illallah connects with who? and hits to the meme of Muhammadun Rasulullah which is Muhammadun Rasulullah and all of La ilaha illallah the hay touches to here. So you can never be on this side. When we understood that all these knowledges, when Allah is giving all the realities giving to Prophet it's from Sayyidina Muhammad when he went to the parda, he saw the hand 
and asked for permission, I've been given permission to see behind the hand and it was Sayyidina Muhammad Said, Ajay, from Muhammad to Muhammad because he wanted to show adab. He wanted to show on earth the adab and the, and the discipline of waiting for what Allah wants and at that time revealing it to the people at the time in which Allah wanted it to be revealed. And as for Shaban and all these realities what? All of it was given. All of these realities were given to Prophet Alam al-Qur'an, Allah said, I already taught you the Qur'an. Qur'an is a reference between Allah's dialogue and Sayyidina Muhammad Fa'alam al-Qur'an. That's why Laylatul Nasf al-Shaban. It's a mighty blessed night because the night in which Allah gave all of its reality. And then the adab was, wait, 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 wait for the people. Wait for the isharat and reveal, wait for the isharat and reveal. The immensity, the immensity of Sayyidina Muhammad is not something that can be understood. So then Ya Seen wal Qur'an al Hakim, every knowledge and reality is in this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah Karim al Mursaleen. That every, all of these are a word from this honoured messenger. Ala siratul mustaqeem. So imagine those whom have this immense love and this immense dress, they are now dressed with siratul mustaqeem. Prophet is the siratul mustaqeem. He's the one whom is going to intercede for all of creation to Allah That's why his gift is the highest gift, is the gift of intercession. He's the one whom has to intercede. He's the only one who can take all this creation to this parda and represent them to La ilaha illallah. Only the intercessor can represent and present you to the reality of La ilaha illallah. So Sayyidina Muhammad is Siratul Mustaqeem. So means that this dress of Surat al Yaseen in this month. Is that Prophet and Allah dress the students to become inheritors of the reality of Siratul Mustaqeem? And as a result, what do the, this again we said these are the uloom of khawas, not normal people. But normal people, their understanding of Siratul Mustaqeem is what? A knife blade and they describe this blade is so sharp that as soon as you start to walk on it you cut right in half and it goes straight through the blade. But not the one who is the blade, right? So then those whom inherit from this character, this now goes into the understanding of energy. Why holy people agitate people? Because they're, they're a, a knife, they're a blade inheriting from the reality of Siratul Mustaqeem, right? They talk and they can slice somebody in half. Not their soul because the soul is receiving an ecstasy from their talk. But the outer form because what does the jahannam burn? It doesn't burn your soul. The soul is pure from the oceans of Allah So the concept of walking siratul mustaqeem and heading towards jahannam, jahannam burns only the possession and combustible product. So the bad character takes on like a form, all the desires take on a form. All of that is burned by the fire. So the moth, that's why awliyaullah be, be like the moth that go to the flame. You have, have you seen a moth, these poor creatures? They actually go to the fire and they start to burn. They're so attracted to the flame they forgot that they're going to burn. So awliya said, why you don't be like that? As soon as your, your testing becomes tough, as soon as your life becomes hard, no, 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 this is not for me, this what's not for you? You want to burn in Jahannam? You want that fire? Or Allah's ni'mat and barakah and blessings for the believer is do your burning in dunya. 
let the possessions burn, let the bad character burn away, let all these bad things go so that these desires go and all that's left, what was the end of uh, Abhidha Parveen song? Why are you going from fire to fire? No, be the fire, means bring that ishq within yourself and you warm yourself. It won't be sadness anymore, it won't be difficulties and, and, and horrific. People are emailing, oh, I just want to kill myself, why are you talking about crazy talk like that? From your dunya you want to kill yourself? Because your dunya is bad, people have bothered you, you didn't understand then the path. People are bothering you is because you represent the Sirat al-Mustaqeem. If people loving you and praising you on dunya, you did something wrong. What? If dunya people think you're like fantastic, you've got to be the person we want to be with, you did something wrong. You're not a Sirat al-Mustaqeem, right? Because they're attracted to you. But when they understand this, oh hell and religion, oh, this is scary for us. And then the keep the straight and narrow because it's a sword. So when Prophet is giving somebody to inherit from lights and blessings, the light understanding is that you're being dressed by lights. As a result of these lights they come against all the badness within people. That people are, are vehicles and containers for badness and they just don't understand it. You can explain a thousand times and they still yell and scream and get all sorts of crazy character because they don't understand who you are. That when you're a light and you carry an immense amount of light within you and people by their nature, let's say a person goes to the mall, you think you went home back regular? You picked up a lot of passengers with you, all the jinn, all the ifrit, everything attached itself to you. You deal with patients, all day long their sickness is, is jumping onto you because you're like a light bulb sitting there and have you ever seen light bulb on a dark summer night? All oh, the mosquitoes come, the moth come, the difficulty. So when you're being dressed by lights in these associations or at home on the internet wherever people are, if they don't understand the system then they just email them, I want to kill myself, uh, nobody likes me, nobody wants to talk to me, my family… De well definitely family don't like you, how could they like you? Unless they're all sitting in the same room doing zikr. But if they're not, what's going to happen? They're going to go out. They're going to get all sorts of shayateen on them and every time they see you, not the person and the soul, the shaitans on them, ah, wow, like the vampire movies. I first said, there's an isharat in everything. Take out the, the not polite scenes and nasty things, that's not what we're talking about. But if you watch a vampire movie, your pure heart should show you what Allah is teaching with you. He says that the demons they don't like sunshine and, and the shams and the sun of somebody's heart with the ishq and the love of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they're like bright stars on a dark night. They're exactly like the vampire movie. Everybody has their vampires and their demons and as soon as you enter in the room you're burning us, you're burning us. You've seen the movies, they scream, they can do every evilness but that light hits them, they're burning and they're running, they're getting angry and that's the best understanding to understand what, what pious people do to people. They burn them just by the presence. If they look at them, they'll burn them significantly more. And that's why you see in the movies, what you looking at? Put your eyes down because that's a demon talk like that. The demon within that person doesn't want the eyes. So many times they try to take the eyes of pious people out, God forbid. Why? Because they have an immense power in their eye. There's an immense power in your reality. So your mere presence is glowing light. So everybody going to be angry with you. That is the moth to the flame. This is not a philosophy class. You should have known that. That it's real, that the lights that are being put upon your soul are immense lights. 
from the immensity of Allah's dressing and love for Sayyidina Muhammad as a result everywhere you go people get angered by your presence. People don't want to, even people who think they're purified, they are more purified than the other people and they aggravate those people because there's even levels. They may be you know so pure from the zikrs they still have demons inside them and there may be someone who's much more purified and they become aggravated by them and that is the reality. Back to Siratul Mustaqeem if people don't like to hear about energy that is the Siratul Mustaqeem. As soon as they speak their tongue like a blade it hits people and cuts their demons and the demon wants to turn the TV off, I don't want to watch this, I don't want to hear this, why you don't want to hear it? Because they want to live in their ignorance and they don't want their soul and their body don't hear him and follow his way, he's burning us. When he looks at us he's burning us, when he speaks he's cutting us. And that's the reality of Siratul Mustaqeem, that's the reality and the ni'mat of Allah that if they cut enough, cut enough, cut enough and bring enough light into the person then what happens? Their badness begins to go and the ishq and the love for Sayyidina Muhammad and that's what Surah the Zalzala that have you seen what something hidden inside you comes out only by the shaking and the quaking. So that's why Allah in last day is going to fill the earth with zilzila, right? Shake and bake them all and if there's anything good in them let's see if it comes out. But the majlis of awliyaullah and those whom inherit from them they're doing it on a spiritual means that they, they teach, they talk and their talk are like a sword that cut through all the fat, all the, all the rubbish, all the fakeness and goes straight into their heart. And if they cut enough, cut enough, cut enough with the teaching then what comes out is a love and ishq of Prophet We pray that Allah dress us with an understanding. Those whom emailing they, they can't live anymore and the dramatic talk of all these things you have to either get psychological help and medicine because if something is wrong with the mental faculty this is not a, a mental hospital. So we can't help anybody who's missing anything from medical advice or medicine. But as far as if it's spiritual then you have to understand this is the testing. The people are just going to be aggravated by the presence, people are not going to understand that type of light and as a result they begin to talk bad, talk negative. If you were looking for a path in which people would praise you this is not the one. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha.